35 is one of the most modern and advanced combat fighter aircraft that has ever been developed. The F-35 is, is not ready for war. I would absolutely call the F-35 a lemon. Australia's newest and most expensive military hardware has been touted as the ultimate war machine, a fifth generation stealth fighter with an unrivaled advantage over any enemy. But since its development two decades ago, the F-35 has been dogged by design flaws and cost overruns. Now on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., the Joint Strike Fighter is under its biggest attack. I'm going to take a deep breath and uh, try to uh, contain my anger at what is going on here. The program's over budget. It fails to deliver on promised capabilities. And its mission capability rates do not even begin to meet the service thresholds. It was in the aftermath of the September 11 terrorist attacks that Prime Minister John Howard committed Australia to buying up to 100 F-35s without going to tender. The jets, pushed by the United States government and defence heavyweight Lockheed Martin, were still in the design phase. Thirty-seven of an initial first order of 72 jets have landed in Australia. The F-35 program is often described as a, as a computer that happens to fly. The original concept for the F-35 was, was just too, it, it was just too ambitious. Retired US Marine Corps Captain Dan Grazier has been following the project for years and says the F-35 still has almost 900 unresolved design flaws, with seven considered critical. The F-35 program has been in operational testing now for going on four years, uh, which is pretty unprecedented. The rosiest figure that we have is approximately $36,000 per flying hour for the F-35, and the, the really tragic part about the F-35 program is that you pay that premium in cost per flying hour and you don't get as many flying hours because the F-35 is a much less reliable aircraft. A handful of F-35s can accomplish the same mission objectives or desired effects as it might take 12, 15, 20, 25 or more other aircraft. It's already participated in combat in Afghanistan um, with both the United States Marine Corps as well as the United States Air Force. Retired US Air Force combat veteran Dave Deptula says the F-35's capabilities have been vindicated in realistic military exercises. The F-35 has turned in spectacular performance with kill ratios depending upon the scenarios of 10, 15, 20 to 1. The very tip of that V, the southwestern tip, is your target. Copy, southwestern tip of the V is the target and contact. The proof is really in the pudding when it comes to performance. As the biggest user of the F-35, the US Air Force is grappling with some major headaches. It's been forced to replace a crucial computer system that transmits the health of the F-35 back to manufacturer Lockheed Martin. There are also fears of an engine shortage. And in current trends, if unaddressed, by 2024, one in eight F-35s will be grounded for lack of engines, growing to over 40% by 2030. Um, I'd probably have to take that one on notice. Too. The problems in the US have implications for the F-35 program here. How long do you have to wait to get a So some of these parts fail for the first time for reasons that um, um, we need to explore. Um, you know, for the, for the engines, it's a, it's a coating problem on some of the blades that the US is experiencing. Under Freedom of Information Laws, 730 has learned that, along with engine repairs, other issues with the F-35 include air leaking into the canopy, oil leaks in the auxiliary power unit, 
and a wing flap coating problem. When you look at uh, modern air warfare, you have to think in terms initially of unrefueled combat radius. And for the F-35, that's a little over a thousand kilometres. So that's not a huge range. Malcolm Davis from the Australian Strategic Policy Institute believes the federal government should invest in a long range bomber rather than buy 100 F-35s. In the early 2000s, China was not a threat that it is now. Their ability to threaten our interests in our air and maritime approaches and directly against Australia is rapidly increasing. The Defence Department wouldn't be drawn on whether it would buy 100 jets as originally planned, but in a statement said the F-35 was the best fit multi-role fighter for Australia. The Defence Minister, Peter Dutton, declined to be interviewed. Back in the US, Dan Grazier believes production of the F-35 should be halted until all major design flaws are rectified. The F-35 program right now is certainly a program in trouble. The last acting Secretary of Defense under the Trump administration essentially called the F-35 a piece of shit. But supporters are confident the F-35 will prove itself an important weapon. Well, the F-35 will become the backbone of the nation's air forces who possess it. I certainly don't see the program under any threat of cancellation anytime soon. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.